I have always tried to be an honorable man, and I truly believe in what we are doing here. I am doing this for my family so that they need not fear. My country so that it can be a beacon of light for the entire world. The men around me because no one could ask for a more august company than the men of the U.S. Armed Forces. In 2009, Marine Captain Matthew Freeman married his childhood sweetheart, Teresa Hess. Three weeks later, Freeman opted out of the relative safety of the cockpit and volunteered for ground action when he heard the Marines needed more ground forces in Afghanistan. One week after arriving in the war zone, he saw something that led him to call his mother and described their situation to me and told me that they would rather have pens and paper than food and water, that painted a very vivid picture for me. Would you please start a collection and send them to me? Two days later, Matthew Freeman was killed in action. Forging meaning and a sense of purpose from the ashes of her grief, Lisa Freeman created the Matthew Freeman Project, Pens and Paper for Peace. It is the vision of the Matthew Freeman Project to go into those classrooms in that part of the world and teach something other than hatred and hopelessness. People from all over the nation joined in the effort to make Matthew's dream come true and sent thousands of pounds of school supplies for American troops to distribute to Afghan children. Americans across the United States who have jumped on board to save the children here in Afghanistan. Staff Sergeant Nicole Olcott is one of the selfless American service members who took it upon herself to make sure those supplies reach their destination. In her case, a village near Jalalabad, where the children and their parents lost everything in a devastating flood. Seeing all these kids like this is, and knowing that the American children have such great opportunities as my own, this is a, it's a good feeling, at least knowing that you're doing something. Do you think Matthew Freeman is watching this today? Matthew Freeman is here with me right now, in spirit, but he's, uh, he's living this with me. The story continues in other schools and villages throughout the war zone, places like the northern Afghan village of Shor Tapa where soldiers from a Germany-based military engineering battalion delivered approximately 100 pounds of supplies to the local school. The principal, shown a picture of Matthew Freeman, was so moved he personally thanked Lisa and said he hoped that one day his country would be peaceful enough for her to visit. That hit home for me because um, being a teacher, I knew exactly what he was saying when you can change the lives of children. This generosity has a less obvious but equally important purpose, helping to convince the Afghan people that American and allied troops are there to help. It comes down to human beings helping other human beings have better lives, and that's what our soldiers are doing over there. Brian Calkins is the first recipient of a scholarship given in Matthew Freeman's name. In fact, the Freeman Project now funds two scholarships, one available to any senior for Matthew's alma mater of Richmond Hill High School, and the other available exclusively to young people who've lost a sibling in America's military actions overseas. <laughs> the primary source of funding for the Freeman Project scholarships is the annual Matthew Freeman 5K Run for Peace, held in Richmond Hill's J.F. Gregory Park. I feel like God's and Matthew are so present today. Now a street in front of the Bryan County Administrative and Recreational Complex bears Matthew's name, and an exhibit case inside pays tribute to the visionary young Marine. But Matthew's mission is far from over, and there are many ways that you can get involved. You can purchase school supplies and mail them to an American soldier overseas. The Matthew Freeman Project will provide the soldier's name and mailing address and give you a donation form for your tax receipts. And of course, cash donations are always welcome. Visit the project's website at www.freemanproject.org to learn more. And finally, I do this for myself so that I might know the measure of myself and in the end, not be found wanting.